I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her? She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. That sounds like you a that? turned on helicopter. Why did we just leave her? Why did everybody just leave her in the helicopter to her own devices? Oh boy. All right, up we go. Up, up, up. Up. Get it, Oscar. Oh boy. Uh, he's hanging there. Okay, okay. We gotta get him up now. All right, we need you to land this chopper. Land the chopper right now. No, do it, or I swear I'll take you down right now. Billy! That ain't gonna help anybody, Billy. Uh, Oscar. Get over here! I'll pull you in. All right, all right, all right. Let's shimmy on over a little bit. There we go. Come on, man. That's it. Use those muscles. Oh, come on. Again, I'm not really going for medals. I'm going for completion. One more. All right, all right, we can do it. Unless she turns the helicopter, then we're gonna have to. What? Why is that water purple? Oh, center, center. There we go. Tell that woman she's dead when I get in there. Okay. Come on, Oscar. Put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. We'll pass the message. There we go. All right, let's go up, 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 up. Pull them in, pull them in, pull them in. Come on, guys. Use that upper body strength and whatnot. And good. Excellent. Now you're dead, Nima. You one stubborn son of a... Hey! Uh, Billy, I think you should get into the driver's seat really quickly. We need you to kind of level us out here. Whoa! What? Not gonna happen. Okay, sure. Why not? Fisticuffs. Yeah. Ooh, miss. Staring each other down. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice kick. Whoa. And all right, that works. I thought I was going to do it, but apparently Oscar jumped the gun and he just uh, wanted to headbutt no, her really badly. Not so good. Oh, really? That's what you get for throwing knives inside of a close quarter area. Things are bound to get broken. That's what my mom always told me. And I learned quite a number of times. Is the water ready? Oh. Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. And if anything goes wrong, Excellent. it's your fault. Now so, I ha. just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. How is it that one little vial was able to cure the entire island Tip, Jess, full of dinosaurs? You figured it would just work for this one little area. Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. Yes, come up high so we can look at a few dinosaurs. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. They don't seem to be having a good time, though. They're just kind of... Oh, oh girl, take it easy. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. The alerts... Hey! Uh-oh. Raptors. Great. Um, uh, Jerry? 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 Big lizard. Big-ass lizard. Oh, gosh. Um, oh boy! Oh, the Parasaur! Um, okay, we're gonna use this to run away. Go, 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 go! Jerry, keep running. Uh, please? Run! Jerry, Jerry, you need to run. You need to run faster than a raptor ever can. I don't know how you're planning to do that, but you can. And dodge! Oh, hi! Um, uh, go! Go, 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 go! Avoid, avoid, avoid! 
Kai. Oh, run, Jerry, run. Run. Uh, uh, the fence. The fence. You're smaller than they are. You can squeeze through without them being able to get you. Ha! Ah, perfect. Good. Oh, and they're going to climb up. Okay. Uh, new plan. Run this way. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's okay. Okay, nothing really goes there. We're going to move. I chose to go this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, go. Up, up, up. Up, up, up. Run, 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 run. Ooh, ooh, that was close. I thought I was gonna get the shoe there for a second. Oh my god, Dad, that was awesome! How'd you do that? Well, you'd be surprised at what you can do when you're being chased by things with big teeth. old man still has a few good moves, huh? Sure. You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. And survive the tell it. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must Hunting. have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Oh, the After one that they went itself. into? They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder! Alright! The cavalry has arrived! Excellent! Just as the title told us. Um, you may want to slow down. Oh boy. Oh! Oh no. Oh boy! No, that's not me being a jerk and leaving it off like that. That is legitly where episode two ends. Gonna have to go and wait for episode three to find out exactly what happens to all of our heroes. Everyone kind of stuck up on the uh, water tower while there's raptors running around. And what happened with the chopper? <laughs> did anybody survive? Wait, probably did because no one really that we care about dies in chopper crashes. Everyone else will die in chopper crashes or getting hit with a rock or something like that, but our main characters, they have to take a lot of punishment before anything happens to them. Heck, Nima fell down a cliff and hit a bajillion rocks, probably breaking every bone in her body with poison, all kinds of stuff like that, and she's still kicking strong. But before I end the episode, I am going to jump into the journal, as I have in the last episode. Let's see, what am I on? I am on, here we go, page five. So in this episode, we would get uh, pages four, five, and... I mean, uh, five, six, seven, and eight, because we got one through four before. So you have the uh, Compsonagus right here, the Confies. You have the Herrera Sources, Herrera's Lizard. These are the things that we fought while on the uh, the Bone Smasher or whatever the heck that ride was. They're pretty much Velociraptor light, if you want to call it that way. They're not as smart as Velociraptors, and they're, I guess, a little bit easier to control, but they are still dangerous, and they will eat you, because why not make something that can't eat you. We always have to make things with big teeth and claws. Can't, can't, just, can't we just make like an ancient bunny or something like that? Why does it have to be these things? Uh, quarantine pens, there's some notes. So this journal right here is written from the perspective of Dr. Sorkin. So that's why when you're reading it, you're seeing things like, I'm getting so sick of Hammond. I can't believe he's ordering another group of raptors. Yada, 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 yada. And she mentioned Site B there too. That's pretty cool. So Everything here is from her, from the beginning of the journal to the end of the journal, and it'll pretty much give you her thoughts and her processes as the story goes on. And you, you'll see a very interesting change that happens with her as uh, things progress through the story. And of course, here's her last entry when it comes to the Parasaurus, the near-crested lizard. Now, one of the biggest things that kind of grinds my gears a little bit about Jurassic Park as a whole is their inaccurate portrayal of certain dinosaurs. And for this case, I'm going to bring up the Dilophosaurus. So we're going to actually, you've read it, wonderful. We're going to bring back up an old uh, entry right here, the Dilophosaurus. Um, according to the fossil records, the Dilophosaurus do not look anything like they do in Jurassic Park. In fact, the actual Dilophosaurus were much bigger than what you see in Jurassic Park, even though they were told... If you read like some of the old script notes, the Dilophosaurus you see initially is supposed to be an infant, like they get much bigger, but the main, I guess, you know, movie going society thought that that was a full grown Dilo, so the studio had to just kind of run with it. Uh, they get much bigger, naturally, and they don't have frills, and they don't shoot that little acid stuff out of their mouth. The way that it's explained is because, if you remember in Jurassic Park, they were able to make dinosaurs by combining the DNA that they had from the mosquitoes with frog DNA. So a lot of like these new things that happened to the dinosaurs, aka 
the Dilos having the frills on their neck and being able to shoot acid is a result of crazy gene splicing with the natural Dilophosaur and the frog. Maybe they use the poison dark, uh, dark frog DNA or something along that way. They don't tell you exactly what type of frog they used, but it mutated them to look like this. Another one they do this with are the Velociraptors. The Velociraptors, according to their fossil records, are supposed to be a lot smaller, but here in Jurassic Park, you have them almost double the initial size that they should be. And uh, that's pretty much it. Everyone else is pretty much the same way. Uh, the only other thing that they question is a Tyrannosaur, because they don't really know if it actually had that motion-based vision or not. I don't see why it would have that. That would make it kind of difficult to hunt, because most animals would just sit there and not move whenever it came around. It had to have some other better abilities and everything in order to hunt. But whatever, that's kind of what they did. And uh, that's that. So there, these were the four journal entries. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the whole episode two, the cavalry of Jurassic Park, the game. Next week, we start up episode three, the depth. Or the depths. I don't remember if it was singular or plural. I think it was plural. And then we get to see where everyone else ends up and <laughs> what fate befalls our heroes. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get more from me, Metal Blade 427 Be sure to check back to my channel throughout the month of June for more June Dino Month, as well as anything else that happens to come out in the future. I always have plenty of projects coming out and more things in my head. I think a lot further along than I probably should. I got to take it one step at a time. But for right now, this is what we have. Thank you guys again. You have a good one. And I will catch you all later.